Hello everyone. <laughs> I just want to come in here really quick and say a couple words before the video starts. So, um, yeah. I did not post last week because my mental health has really been the worst ever and it's been the worst um that it's been in a in quite a while so um yeah last week was probably one of the worst weeks of my entire life and um for multiple reasons so i just couldn't bring myself to post or edit or do any of that or even film i haven't filmed at all um but i'm hoping to get back into the swing of things this coming week because i'm slowly but surely picking myself back up um but with that being said this video <laughs> i did like early april like a month ago is when i did this video to be honest so i'm gonna be talking about like uh, well you'll see you'll see in the vi video i'm speaking about how like it's more recent than what it is it's not Th this video was quite literally filmed like the beginning of april so now that that's out of the way i hope you enjoy anyone who's watching i'll hopefully be back to my better self um next week so yeah okay bye <laughs> I'm just gonna jump right into it you know no playing games none of that um this video is all about how i went to world thrift in south florida and it's this gigantic freaking thrift store well by my standards it's pretty gigantic i mean i don't know it's pretty big i think for any standards it's a freaking big thrift store i can't lie to you i actually found out about this thrift store from sarah dunk i watched one of her videos where um it's an older video obviously before like covid really took over our lives you know but she actually came down to south florida with some of her friends i guess and they went to world thrift and i remember watching her video like wow i really want to go here and then i looked it up and i found out it's literally in florida in florida not even joking so this past weekend um we went to go visit my family in south florida and since we were there we were like why don't we just hit up world thrift because it literally wasn't even that far at all from where my family lives it was like maybe a half an hour like come on my mom was also really like i want to go thrifting when we go down there i think it would be really fun if we could if we could go since we were already there it was just super convenient so yeah i filmed like a little bit um not much <laughs> i really wanted to do a thrift with me i really so badly wanted to do a thrift with me at world thrift but i couldn't because there were people everywhere literally all over that place um so many people every aisle there was was someone in it and there was always like like somebody coming around me and getting in the shot and i can't do that because for legal purposes can't be having bunch of people up in you know in the video you know what i mean so yeah it didn't work out i couldn't really do any of that also um because there were so many people they were really like on my tail on my tail i'm not even joking they were on it so if i was filming and not looking they were gonna come like right around me and and pretty much push me out of the <laughs> yeah i'm not saying everybody in there was rude but like there are some rude people in there i can't lie and i'm allowed to say this because i used to live in south florida so yeah couldn't do a thrift with me unfortunately i really want to do a thrift with me soon i don't know when but it won't be a world thrift it's gonna have to be uh here close to me at my own thrift store but hopefully that'll come in the future with that being said i got a little bit of footage so i'm just gonna go ahead and show you that and i'll be right back to show you what i got yay let's go well i already went is someone shooting fireworks it's april hello so we're in south florida right now visiting my family and i'm very excited because we're going to a thrift store that i've been wanting to go to ever since i saw um 
Sarah Dunk's video where she went to it and I didn't even know that it was in Florida, but I found out and I was very excited about it. So yeah, it's this gigantic thrift store called World Thrift and I'm very excited. Uh, also, I'm in a different room because I'm in South Florida, um, a little uh, child's room. He's my new friend that I made him right there. Yeah. So yeah, we're gonna head out soon and I am excited. I hope I find a lot of good stuff, but I also don't wanna spend like $300. Yeah, also my allergies are killing me. It's really great. I have a really bad headache, so that's cool. Also, I thought I would show everyone my outfit for today. It's my go-to thrifty outfit. It's just a freaking giant shirt, some bike shorts, and my chunky filas. He really likes it, my little friend. I think he likes the outfit. <laughs> So I'm just gonna say it's a bit overwhelming in here because um, there's a lot going on, but I've been finding stuff. It's just huge and kind of overwhelming and there's a lot of people, but the AC is hitting. I'll tell you that much. The AC is really hitting. All right. So there was that. <laughs> I hope everyone enjoyed that very small amount of uh, footage I got that didn't tell you much, but at least from it, you could see like how big that thrift store was. The thrift store I have that is closest to my house is, is not that big. So to see that, I was like a little overwhelmed. I, I can't lie. I won't even go as far to say a little. I'm gonna say it was extremely overwhelming in there because there was just so much going on and a lot of people. Um, but thankfully, most of the people were kind of um, grouped where the shoes were at. So, I just kind of stayed away from the shoe section for the most part. But yeah, let's just go ahead and get into it and start off with this shirt right here, which is becoming one of my new favorite shirts. It's absolutely adorable. I'm getting up to kind of show you guys a little better view of it, but yeah, it's just this cute little give me major Y2K vibes, to be honest. It's like see-through on the sides. But yeah, it's so freaking cute. It's it's this pretty green color with little lace detailing at the top. And it has the like, I don't know what to call this. It's like the, um, I don't know. Like those tops that have been really trending lately with like the under, under Chi Chi area, you know? And it's just so colorful. It's got all these pretty colors. It's got blue, yellow, loving the orange with the green. I think that's so cool. And it's got brown in it too. So pretty much a bunch of colors that I've been into lately. And I thought it was perfect. The next thing I got, I just have to show you guys real quick before we get back to the clothes, was this bag. This bag right here. Look at this bag. This freaking... There's a fuzz. <laughs> it's just this giant big fluffy tote bag and look at this sheen it's got going on black and sheeny a little sparkliness happening and the fur inside as you can see is i don't even know how to explain what color this is but it is so soft oh my gosh it's literally soft as heck man one bad thing about it though <laughs> so um we washed it and then we put it in the dryer, which was a bad idea because it did shed. It, it did shed in the dryer on some clothes. We got a lot of fuzzies on some clothes that I had to lint roll and vacuum. Yeah, I vacuumed my clothes. I really did. Um, it was fun. <laughs> but yeah, besides that, it is just so adorable. I freaking love fluffy bags, fluffy tote bags. I've been obsessed with them. And this one is huge. I think I only got it for like six dollars five dollars it wasn't that much at all also i do apologize i don't really remember the prices for the majority of this stuff um so i'm just gonna kind of guesstimate from what i what i remember but yeah the next thing i got my mom actually found this one for me it is this cute little 
leopard print slip dress. And I actually already have a leopard print slip dress that I showed in a Depop haul. I got it from Depop. Um, but this one is a little brighter orange. My other one is a little darker. And I wasn't gonna get it because I was like, well, I already have one. But then I saw it again because my mom put it back. But then I went back over there and I saw it again. I'm like, you know what? I'm going to take it. <laughs> I'm just going to take it. So yeah, it's got lace detailing up here and it's got a low back right there, which I freaking love a lot. So yeah, super cute animal print slip dress. What more could I ask for? Honestly, the next thing I got has kind of an interesting story to it. So I saw this cute little skirt, but it's actually in blue. It's like a pastel blue skirt. Um, and my boyfriend was like, Run, like rolling the card around and I was looking at the skirts and I saw this pastel blue and I was like I really want this I think it would be perfect for summer and so cute so I grabbed it and I was looking at it and it had a stain on the booty on the booty cheek it had a stain on it that's such a pet peeve of mine when you see something you really want but then it has just a stain and it just ruins everything <laughs> but you know when it comes to thrift stores that's obviously something that you have to take into account that some things could be stained um so i had to put that one back but as i was going through the skirts some more i found this one and it's the same brand and everything i checked it's the same brand same size and everything so i was so happy because first of all I like this lavender shade even better than the blue one and just perfect for spring. Look how cute. It's adorable. I love the plaid. I love the lavender. Ugh, she's adorable. She's adorable. Oh, also has a little slits, little slits. Oh my gosh. How could I forget the best part? It's a skort. It's a skort. It has shorts underneath. Look at that. You know what that is? Those are shorts. I'm obsessed. I love that. How convenient is that? You know what I mean? The next thing I got was this cute little bag. This like, it's like a little shoulder bag. Um, and it's like a crocheted or braided or something. It's just deep chocolate brown color. And it's just, I saw it and it was so cute. And I think it was like two freaking bucks. Two freaking bucks. Man, I couldn't pass that up. I thought it was just so precious and I can, I can fit. Um, oh yeah, look, it has a zipper to open it. So cute. I can fit my phone in here, my card holder with like my debit card and my ID and all that. I just thought it was super convenient to have on those days where like I don't want to lug around like a huge bag or anything. Um, I just thought this was perfect. It would be perfect to go to the theme parks in, I feel like. But how am I gonna carry my water? I'll dehydrate and pass out. I don't know about that. But yeah, I really like this one and I snatched it up. I thought it was so cute. So the last thing I got is actually still in the process of being washed, but I'm going to uh, insert a clip of it when I do have it washed and trying it on and everything. Um, it's basically just this really nice red tennis skirt and interestingly enough it's actually the same brand of tennis skirt that i got from my last mystery bundle from this angela underscore homicide so if you watched that one and saw the fuchsia colored plum colored um tennis skirt that i had there it's the same brand it's prince sportswear i think is what it's called but yeah super freaking cute tennis skirt it's just this really nice bold red shade i freaking love it i'm not really sure if like red is this is a spring color i don't really know not that it matters but like i don't know if it's really like a spring color i feel like more people would consider red like like a winter color or maybe even a summer color maybe I don't know, regardless, I'm gonna wear it. <laughs> so it doesn't matter. But yeah, that's the end of my World Thrift haul. I didn't get a lot. I really didn't. I didn't get a lot um, because, well, again, I can't be spending like $100 every week at the thrift store. That's just not feasible for me. But what I did get, um, I absolutely love. And I did not spend a lot. I think I spent like $22 or something and I got six things. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. So the prices at World Thrift, I would say are pretty decent. I would definitely say they're a little bit better than Goodwill, but it depends on what you get. Like you really have to look through stuff. Um, like in terms of the skirts, the red tennis skirt was a dollar. It was a dollar. One whole doll hair was that skirt. The other skirt I got, I think was like four bucks, three or four bucks. Like. Honestly, I did not spend that much in terms of the things I got. When it came to the bags, those 
could get pretty expensive, especially if it had like a name brand. Who knows if it was real or not, but if it had a name brand on it, they were gonna up the price for sure. They had a lot of Coach, um, Dooney and Burke. Um, I think I saw some other ones, but I don't really remember. I kind of got out of the bag area really quickly because <laughs> they were expensive. They were really freaking expensive. I saw one for $60. That's a lot for me, you know? But I was thankful the ones that I did find because those were really freaking cheap. Cheaper than Goodwill for sure. Cause the bags at Goodwill that I've gotten probably like six bucks, seven bucks. The big tote bag was five and the little tiny one was two or three bucks. I can't be mad at that. So yeah, I would say the prices at World Thrift, pretty good. You just gotta look. One thing I did not like was that um, you have to have cash. <laughs> that wasn't cool. They have an ATM there and the atm does it by 20s like you have to do it increments of 20s so i had to take out 40 bucks even though my transaction was like 23. it was a whole thing it was it was a whole thing i personally didn't like that because i just thought it was inconvenient especially with COVID going on i feel like we you know should be a little bit more pushing contactless payments you know things like that but it was fine, it wasn't that big of a deal. But to anybody who would be interested, I guess, in the future of going to World Thrift or anything like that, just know, you gotta take cash. You gotta take cash, man. You really gotta do it. They also don't do any refunds, exchanges, or like anything like that either. So I'm glad everything fit. Or I would've been really upset about that. <laughs> but yeah, I had a lot of fun at World Thrift. Um, the next time I go, I'll definitely make sure to one, take cash, <laughs> and two, go on like a weekday, probably in the morning. Cause when we went, it was late afternoon and it was a Friday, which is probably why there were as many people as there were in there. Um, I would hope maybe during the morning there would be less people. Maybe, I don't know, this is my first time going, but there was a lot of people and it was a little overwhelming because I honestly think if I had been able to spend more time there, if there were less people that I could have found more. But you know, because of the circumstances, I found a little less. Probably better for my wallet though. So I can't be too mad. But yeah, I had a really good time and I got some really cute little items, little bags, little things like that. Um, I do apologize that I couldn't do a thrift with me and actually film a lot in there. Um, just, there was just a lot of people and it was, it just didn't work out that way. But with that being said, as always, thank you to anybody who is watching. I really hope you enjoyed. Um, it means so much to me. Anybody who tunes into any of my videos, likes them, comments on them, it warms my heart and it makes me feel really good. So yeah, if you want to, you can subscribe and see my face on Wednesdays. I've been pretty consistent so far. Fingers crossed it stays that way, but you know, shit happens <laughs> but yeah i hope everyone has a great rest of the week and the beginning of next week and i'll be back i'll be back <laughs> yeah. baby girl you're so damn fine don't wanna know if i can hear that from behind don't